a straight-speaking teenage boy left Meghan Markle and Prince Harry at a loss for words during their visit to Bristol Old Vic yesterday. While touring the historic theatre the royal couple stopped to chat with youngsters about their experiences and being on the stage. One young lad surprised them when he blurted out you can't just be effing around on stage while chatting about acting. The couple are taken aback by the outburst, but take it in their stride and do not make a big deal out of the unusual exchange. Meghan's eyes widen before she starts to laugh and tucks her hair behind her ear, before looking over to husband Harry briefly. Prince Harry bends over and puts his hands on his knees while smiling clearly not taking the swear word too seriously. The teenager, who is wearing earphones around his neck, continues chatting away while Meghan and Harry compose themselves and the short clip ends. Meghan and Harry also spoke with a teenage girl, who appears to be explaining about a past production of Anton Chekhov's The Cherry Orchard. Former actress the Duchess of Sussex asks the girl, when did you get into that? The teenager takes a few moments to think about her answer, and then replies, Oh, last year. During the visit yesterday the Duke and Duchess were taken on a tour of the theatre by Tom Morris, artistic director. Viewing an exhibition about the history of sound in the theatre, they watched a group of young people demonstrate how things have progressed. The second stop saw a young actor explain how good posture helped them find confidence on stage. So you're planted? asked the Duchess, watching him demonstrate. Do they call that stage presence? Prince Harry added, smiling at his wife. Meeting a small group of teenagers, the Duke and Duchess quizzed them about how drama helped them. When told that it was a good creative outlet from concentrating at school, the Duke empathized, it's quite hard sitting in a classroom being told what you should be interested in, whereas this is more than a hobby isn't it? It runs in your blood. In the main theatre, the royal couple spent a few minutes watching the theatre group rehearsing lines from King Lear. Invited to speak to them on the stage, the Duchess, who was wearing a silk chiffon Oscar de Laurent midi dress, priced at around £2,000, told them you were great, by the way before asking about how they were involved in drama. Back in the foyer, the royal couple clapped and cheered on the ensemble from the Bristol Old Vic Young Company who sang a song from their new play Hercules, which explores what it means to be a man. Before they left, Harry and Meghan unveiled a plaque to commemorate the newly refurbished theater, nodding along to a speech in which Tom Morris emphasized the importance of arts in the community. The royals also dropped in on a workshop attended by local school children which is part of Bristol Old Vic's outreach program. Although Meghan spent 10 years working in television, her background is in theatre and she has a double major in theatre and international relations from Northwestern University. Meghan volunteered at a performing arts after-school program for children in underprivileged school districts in Los Angeles. Earlier this year Meghan was officially announced as patron of the National Theatre, a post previously held by the Queen for 45 years. After the theatre, the royal couple visited 125, a charity helping female workers in the sex industry and penned messages on fruit. Meghan and Harry were making up food parcels to be handed out to female sex workers when the Duchess was struck by the idea to add her own personal touch. Declaring herself in charge of the banana messaging, the royal took the time to write individual messages of encouragement and empowerment. These messages included notes like you are special, you are brave and you are strong. The parcels carrying the bananas were then loaded into a van and distributed to sex workers on the streets.